Hi, I'm Jimmy Chang, and we're here to talk about how to treat y as an independent variable in differential equations. Now, it really depends on what kind of equation that you have and the differential equations concepts that you're studying, but oftentimes the one thing to want to keep in mind is in general, when you have dy dx, I'm just using this as an illustration, the variable in the numerator ends up being the dependent variable, and the denominator variable that's being addressed is the independent variable. So more often than not, the x is known as the dependent variable, but the thing is, depending on what kind of scenario that you have, especially in differential equations, if you want to treat y as an independent variable, then what you want to consider is to ensure that the y is going to be in the denominator. So for example, some equations you may have dx dy. So what that tells you here is that the x is going to be dependent on y. Now, this is going to be x's all the time, not necessarily, depending on what you have. You might have dp over dy or dv over dy, if you're talking about volume, for example, or dc over dy maybe cost, but in any case, if you want to treat y as an independent variable in any field, differential equations or not, just make sure that the y is in the denominator. So I'm Jimmy Chang, and that's how to treat y as an independent variable in differential equations.